Hi. Good. And action. Oh, you're finally filming, Kyle? <laughs> Here we are in the Great Smoky Mountains. Uh, Smoky Mountain National Park. We got the beautiful Smoky Mountains behind us. We're gonna do something a little bit different today. So normally you guys ask a question and then we answer the question through the video. We do a bunch of goofy stuff. We've done a couple of goofy things already. You might see that on bloopers, I don't know. But let's get real for just a minute. Something that I'd like to talk about is expectations uh, when it comes to short-term rentals and some pitfalls that you might want to avoid when wanting to purchase a short-term rental. But I don't want to do it in front of a mountain because it's just weird and it's cliche. So we're going to go down and look at some water. <laughs> Mountains are so <laughs> that's cliche so, in a real estate video. That's what's so great about it. <laughs> Yeah, dude, that's dope. All right, this is gonna be so awesome. I don't know if you see this, but we are gonna have the best shot right here. What are those? Hey, watch your step because it's a little trippy here. <laughs> we are at the base of a mountain here in Smoky Mountain National Park. As you can see, it is super loud and lots of water. It is beautiful here. This here is exactly why people come here and why people want to buy a short-term rental and stay here as much as they possibly can. So I want to sit here and actually give you some realistic expectations when you're searching for a short-term rental something that you need to look for. Here's three things that I would suggest. All right, number one, first and foremost, is you've got to know your numbers. Just because a house looks pretty doesn't mean that asking price is pretty. So if you look at an asking price and you see that their gross income for the last year and year to date for the current year is not great and it doesn't at all help you make money, go away. Go far, far away from that short-term rental. Know your numbers. Location, location, location. You have to think about location when buying a short-term rental. Whether it's here in the beautiful Smoky Mountains or if it's anywhere else across the United States or the world, you're not gonna buy a short-term rental that's in the middle of nowhere that's gonna make you no money. You need to think about where it's located. Is it a hot touristy area? Is there a lot of attractions and amenities? Is there stuff that people wanna do? Is it desirable? And does it have a track record? So do people go there you know, in the last two years or is it the last 20 years? If it's been around and has a track record or success when it comes to tourism, that's where you need to buy. All right, you might also be thinking in your mind, I really wanna decorate this place the way I like it. I like an older era that's beautiful to me and this, that, and the other. That's great for you and if that was your personal residence where people might come over and visit occasionally, that's great. But with a short-term rental, you wanna match your theme with the area. So if you go into a house that's in Gatlinburg, for instance, in the Smoky Mountains, then you wanna have your greens and your earthy tones all bundled into one, but also make it up to date, like a modernize it. Make it look nice and crisp and clean. These are the things you need to think about when it comes to a short-term rental and how to make it desirable for people that want to rent your house because they're the ones paying you to stay there. It's not your house, it's theirs for that time period. So that, you guys, is all about expectations and I didn't expect 
climb back up. The mountain. The mountain. So thank you for enjoying another episode of Smart Moves. I'm out. How did you do that? Uh, I'm getting drenched in water. See that back there? That's a mountain. I can't move it. It's immovable. It's sort of like expectations that are real. Does that make any sense? <laughs> <laughs> the best thing ever in all day. You, <laughs> you look like a youth passer. <laughs> oh, you caught me like mid, like I lost my breath. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're killing me, bro. I can't talk. Whew. All right, you ready? Okay, is this good though as far as? Good enough. <laughs> okay, can you see it? All right. Are you gonna film me really from back there? You don't have to yell, you have a microphone. Yeah, where's <laughs> real? Here we are in the Great Smoky Mountains, and today we're gonna do something a little different that's so loud. <laughs>